Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we started the game, and in this episode we're going to be going to the terrace and seeing what galaxy we've unlocked. Although I do want to... Ooh, what's that? I do want to point out just a little something about how, despite this being space, again, they get rid of the ex existential dread by kind of, uh, I guess, earthifying space. So you can see it always, almost always has a horizon and uh, the space is blue instead of black. So it's just, it's just the tiny, tiny details that make it more comfortable. Anyway, hello there. We were told to go into the terrace here. This is one of the many domes on this observatory. We call it the Terrace. All right, I believe you. Sweet. Welcome. This dome acts as an eye of the observatory. From here, we can gaze upon distant galaxies. I love his little energetic animation. He's going at it. Once this Luma transforms into a pole star, he will guide you to those faraway galaxies. Simply point your pointer at the pole star and press A. Surprised I was able to smoothly say that with all those icons in there. And that's a pole star. Yoink me up. These are the galaxies that can be observed from this dome. The numbers represent their distance from the observatory. The bigger the number, the greater the distance. The more power stars you find, the farther you'll be able to travel. Alright, so it looks like we've only unlocked one so far. Might have a little trouble with the pointer. Love just wee. You can spin things around all you want. Anyway, what's this first galaxy? The good egg galaxy. Get a different angle on that. More dynamic angle. Yes, it's undeniable. We're detecting power star energy patterns in the nearest galaxy. But I must warn you that the evil energy readings are off the charts. Please be careful. Yes, the quantifiable evil that we can uh, detect over there. Yeesh. Really weird. Ugh, and something about these screens. This mission select... Ugh. I love it. I don't know. Just so many details make it. It's very nice. Dino Piranha and the Good Egg Galaxy. Look at this. Again with the horizon. I love those little, like, lit-up stars. It's so weird. It's, it makes no sense, but you love to see it anyway. Welcome to the galaxy! How about you listen to this music for a hot second? Now listen, I know I can get up here. Gone for a long time. Need to get in? Use the pipe on the other side. So, like, there is a skip here. You can definitely just skip this entire, like, section. Yeah, look at this. Uh, but I won't. A little things like that, though. They just, like, in the very first area, they give you a way to just straight up skip half of the level. And, uh, I think that's, a uh, So that'll show you some of the freedom that you're going to get playing this game. Anyway, this pipe throws us to the other side. How you doing? To pick up star bits scattered around the galaxies, touch them with your star. Collect 50 get to get a 1-up, and it really wouldn't hurt to store some up. Now point blank on the screen, and get as many as you can. Yeah, there's a ton. You're going to be grabbing these things like candy. They are everywhere. Uh, more, more prominent than probably any coins in any Mario games. Look at this. They've even replaced the coins in the coin blocks. And a big, juicy helping right there at the end. Anyway, let's go kind of where we're supposed to go here. Hello there, buddy. Get out of here. So those are Octumbas, I believe they're called. Uh, somewhat like an Octorok. Uh, they spit ink at you. And I don't know if they've appeared in any other, like, non-galaxy related game. I don't think they have, actually. Green pipe. Oh, boy. Look at this little inside area. Graffiti. Man... It's, it's like a very... <sighs> I love this game. Also, hey, these are a new thing. If you shoot star bits at these little panels, they'll give you a coin. Good for if you need some money, but usually not worth it. Mm -hmm. 
awesome. Remember when those notes used to make actual songs and not just go bum 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 like upwards in the notes? Yeah, me too. This is actually like it's a little cozy spot. Oh yeah. This exists. Getting used to the movement again. Uh, the movement in this game is a lot different from basically every other Mario game. It was up. If you get tired and want to return to the observatory, press minus or plus and select return to the observatory. But you can't bring back any star bits you picked up, so be careful. Yep, you have to completely finish your mission if you want to keep your star bits, which it's not that big of a deal. They're talking about star bits a lot. Uh, it's not as important as they're making it out to be. They're pretty important. But, you know, it's not going to make or break your game. My friends are ahead. Hurry! So, that Luma turns into that. But, what you can do is actually, if you do a, a cheeky long jump here... Oh man, I know you can do it. There's just so many tricks that in this game. Little, little detail tricks that make it so fun, and I messed up. Anyway, yeah, you can jump straight up to that launch star and not have to go to that uh, dialogue. Not quite sure. Oh, okay. Not quite sure how to do it, but there you go. Jelly rolls. That's what I like to call them anyway. Welcome to another planet. This is our first weirdly shaped planet, I'd say. If you get hurt, grab a coin to patch yourself up and restore some life. So that's different dialogue than the other one said fill some life, or like, fill your life, I think the other one said. Yeah. It's still a weird, weird thing. This one didn't say anything like that. If you spin into them onto their red spots, they drop uh, star bits, and a lot of them, so I really enjoy doing that. And I believe you get a little reward if you knock them all out here. It's a very dangerous planet otherwise if you don't get rid of them in the first place. They can be kind of hard to like, pinpoint as you can see. Okay, I need a coin. Luckily, I knocked out all the ones in the middle. All right. Yeah, I'm not going to bother. Uh, I don't think this is the planet where you get something special for knocking them all out anyway. Let's get out of here. Look at that green goo they're picking up. I know I'm just constantly pointing out the little details of the game, but like I said, it's the details that make it. Welcome to Bean Planet, I suppose. Also, hello, I forgot about y'all. Those kind of stick onto you and make you go slower. Hello. Oh, like I said, the movement is weird. Get out of here. Piranha Plant's just about that first, the first classic enemy we've seen. Spin up those ivy plants to get up to the top. I believe this is another planet with a black coal. So again, I'm going to avoid it at all costs. It has like a weird, you can just about hear it, a weird noodly sound going off down there. This is a little secret. I need the coin. Oh, you don't give coins. Okay. Hello, secret. Most of the time, secrets are going to be for one-ups, by the way. So you almost just about never have to do them. Sometimes there will be a secret for an entire star, which, of course, yeah, you go for that. Uh, maybe star bits, I would say, is a bit more worth it than one-ups, to be honest. But just one-ups, it's kind of uh, weird. I actually don't know where this is going to send us, because I know this isn't the intended path. Where are we going? Oh. Oh, we skipped that planet! Oh, come on! I wanted to show the rest of the planet! Well, there's a bag thing. It's a coin purse, but it's ugly. Don't know how to describe it. Also, it has star bits. Bean planet, too, by the way. I don't know what it is about the planet shaped like beans, but they sure are here. Watch out! After you spin once, you have to wait until your Luma comes back before you can spin again. Yeah, I didn't mention that. Uh, so basically, once you touch the ground, uh, because no matter how high you are, how long it takes to fall, you're not going to get your spin back. Uh, you can, however, wall jump. So you can like do some fancy stuff like this. The wall jump. Oops, I didn't get a good wall jump there. Hold on, if I can do this. And then wall jump and spin again, and you can get some pretty gnarly height very fun. Doing all the wrong button presses. Ooh, love these little sequences. Man, I love everything. Just <laughs> tell me to be quiet if it gets annoying. I love this game. Oops, could this be? 
First of all, I'm going to steal all your star bits because you don't need those, right? Bonk. Why, hello. This is the Dino Piranha, as you could probably tell from the, uh, from the title of the level. It's your first boss. Regular fare. Hit the ball. In fact, this... I think they kind of, uh, mark things that you're supposed to swing into as being a ball. Because now that I think about it, off the top of my head, there are many, many moments that you swing into balls. As I was saying, not too hard. Not bad at all. Love to see uh, Dino Piranha come back someday. PD Piranha gets all the glory. Anyway, I'm gonna grab uh, a lot of these star bits before we head out. No reason not to. There's a 1-up that I hit. Oh, I hit 150. I didn't realize I had so many. I already have 10 lives. Oh yeah, Bean Sprout. If you shoot it. It also gives you a coin. It's kind of a natural version of the uh, little yellow dots that we saw earlier. Anyway... That's our first star, baby! Not counting the grand star, of course. But we don't count those, right? Nah. Anyway, first mission is a success. You got a star, Dino Piranha, and the Good Egg Galaxy. You love to see it. Oh, and a lot of star bits. Good lord. Maybe I overdid it a little. I think I might be in the running for being fine. Those star bits are star bits. See, how am I supposed to pronounce that? <laughs> if you're just gonna call them star bits anyway. To Lumas, they're the tastiest, mo de most delectable treats imaginable. Aim your pointer at the screen and point your pointer at them to pick them up. Once you have some, shoot them by aiming the pointer and pressing B. Why don't we try it out? Aim at me and feed me some star bits. Alright, well, I already went over this, but sure. Bonk, bonk, bonk. You can also hold down the button to just absolutely fill them up. Mmm, tasty. Let's call those little morsels my fee for this lesson. You can also shoot them at enemies or feed them to a hungry luma. Either way, I'm sure star bits will be a big help on your adventure. Uh, I guess I should mention, star bits are kind of like a... It's a popular Japanese candy, and I, I want to try them just once. I don't know if it's like a gummy or a kind of rock hard candy, but I want them anyway. I feel like gummies would be yummier. A snack of cosmic proportions! Ah, oh, so we're already getting into this, huh? I didn't know this appeared so early. So after that star bit tutorial, we're actually going to need to collect as many star bits as we can here. Because that little luma there is going to give us access to a secret area by us giving them star bits. And that was what I was saying earlier when like you sometimes need coins. Sometimes you'll have a luma that wants coins instead. So you're going to have to pay attention to what they're holding to figure out what they want. So uh, I think I don't need a ton. If I just grab as many as I can really here, I should be kind of Gucci to go. Now, if I were to guess, that Luma is on the little section of the the planet that I didn't explore fully, because I, I thought I was going to, like, go back after the secret, but nope. Move me forward automatically. I can't imagine this being any more than 50. Also... If you see a ring on the ground, spin. Free star bits. Man, collecting these star bits are very addictive. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Uh, it's almost like, uh, you know, when you're playing Xenoblade and you got those item orbs and you'd be picking them up. Yeah. Oh, we do have a little bit of a different path to go here. Okay. Uh, where are we headed? Gotta say, is the correct path. Here's another one of those nice little skips. Is the correct path over here? It is indeed. I've got a hungry friend up ahead. You don't mind sharing your snacks, do you? I don't think Mario was intending on eating them. I feel like this is another one that you can, uh... Cheese. Maybe not. Anyway, these pull stars, the fun thing about them is they kind of have an interesting physic. If you, like, pull to one from far away and then let go real quick you can keep a really fast momentum going. 
and that's used for some interesting shenanigans on some later levels that I'll try to show off to the best of my ability. Uh, hey, is this- oh! Big spiky. You get rid of them by smacking them with the green boys. Um, is the Luma on this planet? Because if it is, I feel like I'm already Gucci. And I can just move on! I'm just gonna get knocked out by static enemies. It's still weird getting used to moving around in this game, if I'm gonna be honest. Goomba. The safest enemy I could possibly challenge. Give me a coin. Thank you. Let's get out of here. Uh, also, if you haven't tried using a Wii Nunchuck... Uh, if you haven't tried using a Wii Nunchuck control stick lately, uh, it's weird. I think I grabbed most of the star bits that were up here. Or those were coins, that's why I didn't grab them. All right. I'm trying to figure out where this bad boy is. There was a launch star that I kind of missed the timing on back there in the middle of our flight. Hello? I did it! I'm a gamer now! Well, with all this rigmarole it's sending us through, I'm pretty sure we need a few more star bits than what I've collected. Maybe a hundred. I mean, I don't want to play with these, uh, these big bad rocks. They could easily knock on my block a tower. I appreciate the free bits, though. Ugh. They're also, like, it feels like they're slightly moving to the side. Let's get out of here. We can get star bits somewhere else. Ooh. So I believe if I were to spin here, it'd just, like, skip this island, or this planet, and send me to the next one, by the way. So it's kind of just a... It's not like a whole secret area. It's more of just a shortcut, more than anything. Give me them bits. I have a hundred now. There's no way it's expecting more than that. Let's just talk to it. Stop speculating and actually talk to the Luma. Hello. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with snacky happiness and then transform. I'm famished. I need a hundred. Okay, yep. That does it. Fill them up. This noise. Get used to that noise. That's it, I'm stuffed. Here we go. Transform! And it turned into a whole planet. Don't you love to see it? Plus one of these nice, like, hmm. That's a tasty looking launch star if I were to ever say anything. Like most of the other ones look metal. Like the color yellow, it looks metal with that shine. But the color pink, baby, that's a gummy. It's down here on the bottom. A secret perhaps? One coin? Wow, I truly am blessed to think a frog like me can have fried chicken. Here we go, I'm getting all your secrets. Oh, I'm gonna die, that's what I'm gonna do. One of the things I like about Mario Galaxy is, like, a lot of people say it's linear, but there's so many paths to go. Like, look at, look at just the freedom of movement I have here, really. Like, I can skip all that. Uh, I really want this coin. Oh yeah, long jumps in the game, I suppose. Dude, that's what I meant when I said the movement's a little weird. This nunchuck joystick. It's going crazy. Anyway, I'll just climb normally for the rest. Let's get moving. Oh, we're going into the giant pill. The giant pill! Oh, and the music chains mid-levels. I love it, dude. So much to love. So much that just Sunshine didn't do. Not necessarily because of uh, limitations of the system, but just like stylistically, that this game just it gets it. Also, like... I find this game to be one of the calming games out there. Like, if I want to fall asleep, watching a Galaxy Let's Play is uh, one of my best bets to just conking out real quick. I really don't know what it is about it. Uh, I'd assume it's just like the music in general. I'll spin into you so I don't risk going the other way. Also, here's another gravity gimmick, I suppose. That's not good. <laughs> nope. Don't want to die. I'm Gucci, don't worry about it. Another one up. Not sure how much I'm gonna need him. If, uh, if I remember correctly, I believe when you turn the system off, you don't keep your one ups in this game, so no real reason to hoard them. Oh, look at that. Just crash right on through. 
and here we are. Now, I know that there are pull star fragments around the planet. Surely, I can get this. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> I thought so. I don't need pull stars. Who needs pull stars? Anyway, that's a second slash third star. Easy as that. Of course, obviously, it'll get harder, but for now, it's cakewalk. High score of seven. You love to see it. And we discovered a new galaxy. Ooh. Well done, brave explorer. You've discovered a new galaxy. Collecting power stars will expand our range of vision, perhaps to eventually include the enemy base. Well, I'm excited for that. Anyway, that'll do it for this video. Join us next time when we explore that new galaxy. See you all then, and goodbye.